I probably have struggled with depression in one form or another since childhood. Um, I would um, trace it back to as early as age eight. In college, I had what I realize now was one major depressive episode. And I went in, saw an, um, a social worker who was doing the intake work. He um, said, it's not for me to say, but I think you're showing uh, a lot of this, um, what you're describing are a lot of the symptoms of manic depression. He was the only person that ever used that term or that tentative diagnosis for what would end up being another 10 years. Um, the psychiatrist I saw, who was a resident psychiatrist, and there wasn't anything wrong with that, who was someone who I had a good rapport with, I had talk therapy with her about two sessions a week um, for probably six to eight months. It didn't really help. It's not unusual uh, for people with bipolar disorder. It often takes um, four psychiatrists and up to 10 years before they uh, clearly identify the, um, uh, identify the illness as bipolar disorder. Now, fast forward 10 years, uh, I was working in the Senate at the time. Um, there was a convergence of a lot of conflicts and uh, stresses in my life at the time. I, for whatever reason, uh, became convinced that uh, one of the others at Senate offices had bugged my telephone. And there was a series of um, delusions, hallucinations, uh, paranoia um, that I was experiencing. Um, that um, it um, culminated me really in wandering the streets of Washington. And I ended up um, seeking sanctuary at um, a homeless shelter. They called 911 for help. Now it's interesting, you call 911 for a person who's in psychiatric distress of any kind. You don't have an ambulance show up, you have the police show up. Um, so I was brought to the uh, uh, hospital in the back of a police car. Later talked with a couple colleagues in the Senate, including the head of the Office of Senate Security. I mean, went and apologized because I had, was a little concerned as to what kind of ruckus I had set off. Um, and it's interesting, he said, um, don't worry about it. This happens more frequently than you know around here. He says, I don't know what it is, but it just seems to happen. Well, that's not inconsistent with the statistics and with the reality. One in five Americans experience some kind of mental illness at some point in, in their lives. Well, bipolar disorder, uh, quite literally, you look at the term, it's bipolar. You've got two different poles that you're operating between. Um, and in the simplest sense, that means ups and downs. Now, we, people normally will say, well, Everyone has their own ups and downs, but in, um, for someone who has the illness that's diagnosed, I mean, it's, it's not just severe, it's life-threatening. On the upside, um, there's these, there are great bursts of creativity, often turning into grandiosity. Um, you might have someone who, over a weekend, decides to do some watercoloring as a, as Re, as relaxation, and because they happen to um, paint an interesting color of a bird, suddenly decide that they're going to be a great painter, and they're going to quit their job, and they're just going to go into a studio over the garage, and that's all they're going to do, and they're going to sell their paintings and, um, and grow rich from it, and completely reorient their life that way. That's the manic side of it. And then it comes crashing down. In a depression, can feel like a number of different things. It can feel like a weight on your head or on your shoulders so that you can't even feel, you can't even get out of bed in the morning. There's one writer who described it as standing in the middle of a burning tire dump and, and inhaling the uh, toxic uh, fumes. That's depression. So you've got a combination of a cycle up and down like that. Um, and sometimes the ups feel very good until you get to the top of them and you crash down again. There is not a single day 
that I don't wake up being very aware that I have bipolar disorder. Um, and that is the key to my recovery. It's partially acceptance and it's partially alertness. The day that I forget that is the day when it's going to come around and hit me again in the back of the head.